Hello everyone, this is Hierotlinia. Welcome back to my playthrough of Dragon Quest VII, Fragments of the Forgotten Past, for the 3DS. Previously, the party finished up in Bally Malloy, or so they thought. When they got back to the Shrine of Mysteries, Bally Malloy really appeared near Estard. Deja vu. Our heroes arrive at the brand new island, but the scenery seems very familiar. Hang on, haven't they been here before? A familiar fragment. A merchant who says he's been to the mines looking for rainbow rocks gives the party a new tablet fragment. Maybe there are more of them down there. Maybe indeed. I don't understand. Why would an island just like the one we went to suddenly appear in our world? Could it have something to do with those stone fragments? It's amazing to think there could be another of those stone fragments on this island. Well, let's go down to the mines to the south of the village and see if we can find it. But first... There's a treasure to find where the tower used to be. Apparently, Hanlon, Maeve, and the others lived in the past. Quite a long time ago. Here's a treasure chest. With a seed of life. Increases maximum HP for one party member. Now then, down to the mines. And here we are again, the Rainbow Mines. So it sounds like we're going to have to go back down into the dark. Bah! Still, if we want to get our hands on that tablet fragment, I don't suppose we've got much choice. Come on then, let's get it over with. Alright, we've got another of those tablet fragment thingies in our sights. Let's go and get it, Davalos. Hello? Sure, it's dig this and dig that. This mine and lark's not for the lazy, you know. A barrel here, with an antidotal herb. Hello. What's that you say? Where are you? Sure, the rainbow mines, of course. Where else? More barrels. Thirteen gold. Wow, we're rich. Anybody in here? Hey there, guard. What's that? You came from across the sea. Sure, you're having me on. Only a real brave sort of fellow would go messing about in boats, and you don't look much like the type to me. But if you can do it, I reckon anyone can. Maybe I'll take a little cruise myself one of these days. Snort. Interesting detail. His arms behind his head. Hello. What's that? Some traveling salesman told you there was a stone tablet down the mine. Now you mention it, there was this fellow who found a funny looking rock down there a while ago. Well, if you want to have a nose around, be me guest. Just don't be getting in anyone's way, you hear? Indeed. Thank you, sir.
So, back into the mines. Anything down this stairway this time? Nope. The mine is just like the one we were in before, except the tunnel walls look a bit more battered. This place seems awfully familiar, doesn't it? So it does, Kiefer. Very familiar indeed. So, to the west and north. Hello. If it's Rainbow Rocks hereafter, you'll have to head a fair way into the mine. They're thin on the ground these days, so they are. What's that? You're looking for a stone tablet, Yoke? Well, it takes all sorts, I suppose. Anything to the west? A couple of barrels? Ah, uh, a seed of magic. Hello. Rainbow rocks are queer things, so they are. They've a strange sort of power. That's why they smash when you put two of the same color together, like. Oh, he doesn't have to tell us about rainbow rocks. We know all about them. What's that? You're asking me if I've ever seen a piece of stone tablet? I can't say that I have now. These days, it's hard enough to find a rainbow rock. Never mind any tin fancier. Sure, I'm an idiot. I can't find the way out. Well, head this way, then turn right. Ah, there we go. A couple of red rocks. Now push the red rocks together, then the blue rocks, and finally, the yellow rocks. So we can progress. Then push this one north. Then east, to clear that obstruction, then we'll have to move the blue one. Alright, continuing on, a little carefully here, don't move that yellow one. We want to push these yellow ones together, and then these yellow ones. Then continue. Now we'll go to the west. Move this out of the way, then push this red rock east. And after that, we can push this blue rock west. and reach the stairway. This is the cavern where we found the green gem. Hold on, what's that staircase doing there? I don't remember that being there. Hmm? I was sure this was the same mine, but maybe I was wrong. That staircase definitely wasn't there last time. Maybe it's fairly new. down the staircase. Well, we've definitely never been here before. This mustn't be the same mine after all, right? The miners haven't done a very good job here, have they? All the tunnels are blocked off by rainbow rocks. Our detector is going off. Let's check to the east first. Hmm. 
nothing to the east. We'll have to go upstairs and then go back downstairs to reset the puzzle, such as it is. Now to the south. Nothing that way. Well, let's check to the west. Nothing this way. Lovely magnetic stairway. Now to check to the north. Here we go. A red fragment. Red fragment too. Not bad, Davalos. This looks just like the fragment we found before. Let's take it back home and show it to everyone at the castle. Then they'll be sorry they left us out of their big meeting. So, a second red fragment. What are we doing messing about in here, Davalos? Let's head back to the castle. Come on, chop chop. I reckon we've seen all there is to see here, Davalos. We ought to be getting back to the castle. That meeting must be over by now. Well then, let's evac out. Thank you kindly, Maribel. Those stone fragments get everywhere, don't they? There might even be others on Estard we haven't found yet. Another two fragments down, but it's not enough to finish another tablet. Let's head back to the castle and think about our next move. Sounds like a plan, Prince. Now, let's see. A trip down memory mine. Heh <laughs> heh. After hearing the traveling merchant talk about the tablet fragment he found, the party head to the mines he mentioned. They look absolutely identical to the mines where they found the green gem that got Hanlon back on his feet. Another fragment found. Deep in the mines, our heroes find a brand new tablet fragment. Upon emerging into the open air, they realize that it's been a while since they set sail. The meeting in the castle must be over by now. Well, we'll see. Setting course for Restard. Surely that meeting's over by now. The castle can't still be closed, can it? Well, let's go and find out what they've decided to do about the new island. As long as Kiefer's with us, the guards are sure to let us in. I still can't believe my old man wouldn't let me sit in on his big meeting. He gets angry with me when I don't act like a proper prince, then when I finally want to do boring stuff like attend meetings, he won't let me. Still, I can't complain. Instead of being stuck in a room talking about the new island, I actually got to go there. Well then, back to Westard. It's Prince Kiefer. So, er, you, you managed to sneak out of the castle again, Your Highness. Yeah, sorry about that. I'm heading back there now, honest. You really are the limit, Your Highness. 
these guards have really got their work cut out, trying to keep Kiefer out of trouble. If I was them, I wouldn't bother. Come on, Davalos. Let's head over to the castle. I want to find out what my old man's planning. Well, then... Oh, my, my! Yet, Your Highness! If you wish to return to the castle, please. All you need to do is speak with my colleague over there. Ah, uh, Your Highness, how did you manage to give us the slip again? You'll get us in trouble, you know. Sorry about that. Anyway, I'm back now. Could you lower the drawbridge? Yes, Your Highness. Prince Kiefer has returned. Lower the drawbridge immediately. There you are, Your Highness. Now don't go sneaking out of the castle again, will you now? I'm sure he will. Ah, welcome back, Your Highness. The King summons that hermit who lives at the top of the cliff on the edge of town. Apparently, they were in there talking, and then suddenly the old loon stormed out with a face like thunder. I haven't seen him pass by here, so I take it he's still in the castle somewhere. I wonder what got him so worked up. The old man who lives on the cliff? You mean that one who's always muttering to himself and smells like mothballs? Why would King Donald want to speak to a silly old coot like him? It sounds like Dermot's really cheesed off. I wonder what's happened. It's not the best time to be wandering around the castle, you know. There's an important meeting going on. What, even I'm not allowed in, but I'm the Crown Prince. Well, never mind. Let's ask around and see if anyone's heard any more about what my old man's planning. Hmm, there's Dermot. An extremely important meeting is underway. I would humbly request that you stay away for the time being. That meeting of theirs is really dragging on, isn't it? It looks like we won't be getting into the throne room any time soon. Ugh, I'm bursting to find out what they're talking about up there. I was standing here minding my own business when an elderly gentleman I haven't seen before went barging past me. He seemed to be in a foul mood. I wonder what they were discussing in there. Oh, Your Highness, welcome back. I've just finished cleaning your bedchamber. It's looking spotless even if I do say so myself. Well, let's catch up with Dermot. Look at this little beauty. It's a map I found gathering dust down in the castle storerooms. It's got all these other islands drawn on it, and whole continents, too. I thought some madman must have just dreamed it all up, but now I'm not so sure. Ever since that new island appeared, I've been looking at it in a different way. I can't tell you whether it's accurate or not, though. We don't know what shape the new island is yet, for starters. What a strange map. There are all kinds of different islands and continents drawn on it. At least I think they're islands. It's so worn out and moth-eaten, it's hard to tell. It must be really old. Hey, Dermot. Listen, I'll say this one last time. Let me through you, great lummox, or you'll regret it. I don't know who you are, but I'm not letting you through. Especially not if you use language like that. Gah! 
There's no getting through to this thunderhead. Hmm? <laughs> well, if it isn't my young friend. Perfect timing. It's me, the old man who lives out by the cliff. The kind and generous and knowledgeable old hermit, remember? Anyway, I want to pay a visit to an old friend of mine, but this dolt won't let me through. Could I trouble you to have a word with our thick-skulled friend? Very well, Dermot. Go on, Davalos. Talk to the guard about letting him pass before that mad old coot blows his top. I don't know what's going on here, but it seems Dermot's dead set on getting through those gates. Let's see if we can twist the guard's arm. Very well, Dermot. Oh, Your Highness, am I ever glad to see you. This old boy is claiming that he's your friend. That can't be right, can it? Well, it's a long story, but basically he's telling the truth. <sighs> yes, he's my friend. Would you mind letting him pass? He, er, probably won't cause any trouble. Uh, of course, Your Highness. I mean, I'm not sure about this, but I'm hardly going to disobey a direct order, am I? Okay, old man. I'm opening the door. Please, go ahead. Much obliged, young friend. Now's not the time to chat, Davalos. We need to get after that old codger before we lose sight of him. Come on, Davalos. Let's go and see what old Dermot's up to. Please, go ahead. So, downstairs. Ah, there we go. There you are, you cantankerous old codger. I'm amazed to see you're still drawing breath. Who are you calling a codger, you doddery old fool? I thought you'd be six feet under by now. All their friends. <laughs> Seems there's a bit of life in you yet. Anyway, what do you want? I doubt you've come for the pleasant conversation. Just don't ask me to do any heavy lifting. Sorry, I was enjoying insulting you so much. I almost forgot why I was here. You see, it's like this. Ah, uh, are you serious? No, I refuse to believe it. It's all a load of nonsense. It must be. Well, there's only one way to find out if it's true or not. Give me it back, and we'll soon see. Come on, hand it over. What are those old duffers talking about? So you followed me down here, did you? This shriveled-up old has-been here is a friend of mine. Well, I say friend. Anyway, I thought I'd drop by and say hello, seeing as I was in the neighborhood. Oh, so you know each other, do you? I heard you mention something you wanted him to give you. What was that about? Humph! Don't you know it's rude to eavesdrop? Well, it can't be helped now, I suppose. Feigning ignorance is one of the many social skills I never quite mastered. But before I enlighten you as to what's going on, I want you to tell me something. Do you know anything about this new island that's appeared? Um, well, to be honest with you, we don't really know a huge amount yet, but what we do know is... Prince Kiefer tells Dermot all about being transported from the shrine to another world. Did you hear all that? Oh, I heard all right. Right. I want you to listen to me very carefully. If what you've just told me is true, then there's something you need right here, in this very castle. In fact, it's the very item I was discussing with my friend just now. I've been searching for it everywhere. I thought it was just the kind of thing this crafty old so-and-so here would do to have hidden it down here, where only someone with a raft could get at it. Anyway, go and get it back for me, and I'll... 
Actually, let's save the details for now, shall we? All I'll say is, I'm not going to tell you what it is. Think of it as a little test. If you can find it and bring it back to me, I'll take that as proof that we're speaking the same language, if you know what I mean. Go on, then. Jump on that raft and bring back what I'm looking for. It's yours if you can find it. This item has got to be pretty special for Dermot to be so worked up about it. I wonder what this thing Dermot's looking for could be. It had better be something useful. What does Dermot want? While walking through Astard Castle, the party bump into Dermot the Hermit, who's embroiled in an argument with a guard. It seems the old fellow wants to go and visit a friend of his, but the stubborn soldier won't let him through. Kiefer has a quick word, and old Dermot dashes towards the staircase on the other side of the door. What's at the bottom of those stairs that's so important? Ride that raft. Down in the underground waterway, Dermot the Hermit is engaged in a lively argument with someone who seems to be an old friend. The two old-timers ask the party about the new island they visited, and Davalos and his friends tell them about their adventures there. After the pair of pals hear what they have to say, Dermot tells them to go and seek a certain object, an object that can only be reached by raft. It must be very important to have been hidden away at the end of the waterway. All right, all right. I suppose I knew this day would come. If you're that keen on getting your feet wet, you can have my blessed raft. Very well, boatman. Come on, Davalos, all aboard. Let's paddle off and find whatever it is we're looking for. Very well. Time to get rafting. Unlike DQ5, no entryway under the door. Did you use that raft to get here? Yes, we did. Well, ain't you the lucky one. It's not often that miserable old so-and-so lets people use it. I wonder where this thing of Dermot's could be. If it's as important as he says, it's bound to be locked away somewhere. Anything down here? Ah, some cells. A locked door? Who are you? I thought it was time for my daily ladle full of gruel. You got me all excited. Can you believe I was locked up for pinching some pots and pans? I had all these dreams, all these things I wanted to steal. Jewels, crowns, scepters, art, you name it, and they got me for some poxy pots and pans. Well, sorry. Crime doesn't pay, you know. There's a doorway here in the north. And a stairway here. What's this room used for? It's a funny shape for a storeroom. I've lived in this castle all my life, and I never even knew this room existed. Hmm? What's that over there? It looks like some kind of podium. A podium with a fragment. A seat of agility. And another red fragment. Red fragment three. 
beautiful. So we now have three red fragments. Well then, let's go show it to Dermot. Zoom! Humph. Well, it looks like he got the better of me this time. Never mind. It's got nothing to do with any of you. Go and talk to your friend there. Gahaha! <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! I first found that stone tablet when I was about your age, believe it or not. For reasons too complicated to go into, the king at the time, Prince Kiefer's grandfather, confiscated it. The interfering old so-and-so. Anyway, there's no need to go over old grievances now. I promise that if you found what I was looking for, you could keep it. And so you shall. If what you told us about having been able to get into the shrine is true, this could unlock another island. Consider that fragment an investment in the future of adventurers everywhere. After all, if it unlocks another island, there'll be no stopping you or any other intrepid explorers out there. Don't worry about things back here. I'll spend some kind of yarn to keep the king off your backs. Now on your way, and be careful. Thank you, Dermot. What's that, Davalos? I should head back to Pilchard Bay in case the next island's dangerous. Not on your Nelly. Listen, Buster, you're not going to get rid of me that easily. And anyway, I won't be in any danger. I'm going to get you to do all the fighting. Sure. So old Dermot found that fragment back when he was a lad, did he? Come on, Davalos. Let's go and slot it into place and make the old boy's dreams come true. Indeed. Dermot's Delight our heroes show Dermot the Hermit the fragment they found at the end of the underground waterway, and he dances with delight. It seems he found it when he was younger, but had it confiscated by King Donald's dad. And he thinks Davalos and company might be able to use it to make another new island appear. Once they've done that, surely no one will be able to deny the value of their little adventure. Time to hit the assembly room to the Shrine of Mysteries. Yes, indeed. Hello there. Is that Prince Kiefer I spy? Don't you have more important things to do than go wandering around town, young man? I guess we can't stay here. Very well. Who knew there was a fragment from one of those tablets in the castle's cellars all along? 
I wonder why Kiefer's grandfather hid it away like that. All right, things are really heating up now. Let's get this fragment over to the shrine and finish off the next tablet. Let's do, Kiefer. Might as well stay here for free. So you've decided to grace us with your presence, have you? I'm afraid your father is still at the castle. Time to rest. Now to the shrine. Hello again, Shrine of Mysteries. I bet we've got enough fragments to complete another one of those puzzles. I wonder what will happen when we put it together. Will we get transported to another island? What kind of place are we going to be whisked off to this time? Woo, I can't wait to find out. My heart's racing. So, let's go see. We have green fragments and red fragments. And we also have this holy, holy water from Uncle Pike. We'll be needing that in the next scenario. Hello, floaty friend. Now then, let's check the green pillars first. We have two fragments. Now this one goes in the upper left. Now which was that one? Let's see. I think it was the one dropped by the golem. the golem's fragment, and this one goes on the lower left. That was the one from the merchant in the current Ballet Malloy. Now for the red pillars. Let's see here now. This one goes on the left side. Which was that one? That was the other one from the tower. Now the next one, this little one, goes in the lower left.
Now this one. That was from the current Rainbow Rock Mines. And the one in Estard Castle goes right here. So we have our next destination. Ah, what's going on here? We seem to have some volcanic activity. volcano is blowing its top. Did you see that, Davalos? What on earth was it? You saw it too, did you? There's a volcano off in the distance there, but it's not going boom or anything like the one we just saw. What's going on? Ah, but maybe it will. Do you think we were maybe seeing the future or something? Hmm. Well, standing here wrecking our brains isn't going to make things any clearer. Why don't we have a look around and see if there's anyone nearby who can tell us more? Good idea, Kiefer. Why do weird things always happen when you two are around? I bet it's your fault, Davalos. You're probably cursed or something. That mountain we saw blowing up looks just like the one over there, didn't it? Still, standing around brooding over it isn't going to give us any answers. Let's get moving. So, we found a new place. Was that a real eruption? The party used their newest tablet fragment in the assembly room to gain access to an all-new island. As they pass through the swirling whirlpool of light, they have a vision of a volcano burning bright red before blowing its top. But when they actually emerge from the teleportal, the massive mountain in the distance shows no signs of erupting. Still wondering about what they've seen, our heroes set out in search of civilization. And let's see... Our tablet fragments so far. The one from the tower. The one from the rainbow mines. The one from Estard Castle. The green fragments. The one from the tower. From the golem. The one from current day Belly Malloy. And the yellow ones. One's from the Shrine of Mysteries, and one from Pilchard Bay, from Pollock. So, now we have a new place to explore. Hello there. Shoppy Hoppers, and Tung Fu Fighters.
Disgusting. Farewell, enemies. Got a chest over here. A scale shield. Beautiful. And Kiefer can get the leather shield. Now we have shabby cats. These guys like to dazzle us. Like that. Goodbye, shabby cats. And... Davalos reaches level 7. Congrats, Davalos. Level 7. Now to find the town. The local locality. Emberdale lies to the southwest. And here's our town, the town of Emberdale. I will explore it next time. This here's Emberdale's church. Now I know what you're thinking. It's a bit bare. Well, there's a reason for that. Folk around here are more interested in the Father of the Flame than the Almighty, you see. More's the pity. Any road? Time to save. Next time we'll check out Emberdale. This is Hey Rotlinia. I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next time.